YouTube, it's your boy Black Chia 3 Long Face, Skinny Body, and we back still black with some more Fireboards on anime manga content. Before you end the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the like button, share it with your friends, and let's hop right into the business. Yes, sir, Ski. <laughs> All right, so this topic has been buzzing around the community per the release of Boruto chapter 69. I've been seeing so many people talk about, honestly, at this point, we've been saying this shit for a minute now, ever since Ishiki slash even Jigen was really introduced as, as the main op. We've been talking about Naruto and Sasuke's death. Now, a couple of videos ago, I remember mentioning how my current stance on both Naruto and Sasuke's position as where like they're gonna survive. Like, I'm pretty sure I made it clear with this nigga Naruto. I am 95% sure he is going to make it to the end of Boruto, Boruto Shippuden. Like, he's going to be alive to tell the end of the story, mainly due to the fact that the perfect opportunity and chance to kill him off, they used it for Kurama, and now it's going to be hard to put Naruto's life at that type of stake with the same amount of risk and same amount of emotional impact with having a negative backlash, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be hard to do that exact same, because the hype up until Baryon Naruto is like, yo, this nigga Naruto's gonna go, but he's going out in a bang, and then little bit we know it was my nigga Kurama saying goodbye to the gang, but Naruto's build-up was perfect for that moment, and they let it go, so that tells me that they plan on keeping Naruto around for the long run, most likely until the end of the series, just to have him be that piece of, you know, plot device or story, where it's like, the question still lies from the first episode, from the first chapter, I'm gonna send you where I sent Lord Seventh, is Naruto dead, you feel me? So Naruto's name is gonna be in the, in the situation, in the mix for a little bit. Now, when it comes to this nigga Sasuke, I'm pretty sure I made my stand clear as well, where it's like, it's still a gray area for this nigga Sasuke. And as for the release of chapter 69, there's been a whole lot of actually interesting ideas pointed out and interesting dialogue noted in not just the conversation between both Sasuke and Boruto, but in previous chapters where Sasuke's opportunity, where Sasuke has been going through, you know, things where it's like promising Boruto that I'm gonna be the one to take you out, you know, telling Boruto and then, you know what I'm saying, confirming with Naruto, like him and Naruto are ready to give their lives for the village at any moment being in situations where you know he's repeatedly saying okay to deal with this foe or to deal with a, a enemy of this type of threat level is going to be pretty impossible to try to handle this type of situation for myself so we see sasuke in these type of situations time and time again and the question has been raised up time and time again is this nigga sasuke from the bite that does you feel me this nigga boy six years old he rocking this nigga sasuke sword rocking sasuke's coat you feel me got the headband now we know as for last chapter the headband is his for goods these niggas out they out they're on the way looking for some smoke so we already understand how that's going down the main key in this video would be directly revolved around Sasuke's line basically referring to Boruto when he's talking to Boruto saying that he's gonna have to be the one to prove his resolve next meaning that time after time again just dating even back to the Ishiki fight where it's been situations even occurring in front of Sasuke's eyes where Momoshiki's taking over Sasuke understanding he's gonna have to take Boruto down he wasn't able to do so in front of Ishiki's face Boruto was literally willing to take his own life in front of Ishiki and now we see that Sasuke is learning okay Boruto told Kabuki, begged Kabuki, was on the same side in agreement with Kabuki, take my life, and how far Boruto was willing to go was actually having his life being taken from him, being at this such a young age where it's like, nigga, he's looking at Boruto's resolve like, damn, bro. At this point in time, Sasuke was so hell-bent on revenge at Boruto's age where he probably can see himself, he could see the similarities in Boruto and, Sa and Kawaki's situation, paralleling between both him and Naruto, and even going as far as saying paralleling between him and Itachi, but key word to look in this chapter is resolve, okay, noting he's not only accepting Boruto's resolve, he's admiring Boruto's resolve, but you know what I'm saying? He's giving Boruto the opportunity, giving Boruto basically that type of companionship that Boruto has been seeking throughout the entirety of the story. It's like, babe, I'm a ninja too. Like, I'm out here with y'all niggas as well. Like, treat me like that. You feel me time and time again, especially back in the academy days in the anime, we've seen Boruto being begged to be treated like an adult. Like, yo, bro, at the end of the day, just treat me like one of y'all niggas. And we understand Sasuke his actions not just his words but his actions also prove that as well where it's like off rip i pointed it out in my chapter review you see the difference between naruto's sense and sasuke's sense when they both get the 
call from Eno. Naruto's like, yo, I'm gonna go handle this situation on myself. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back, nothing to worry about. Kinda, you know what I'm trying to say, like uphold the mantle on his own in a way, basically preserving the future generation, understanding that they're gonna have to be here in order to be able to protect the world. Whereas if they can't protect it now, Naruto's gonna have to be the one to do that. And Sasuke sense like, damn, I ain't got the running on no more. Hey, yo, my nigga Boruto pull up. We out here, fuck is you talking about nigga 100% Otosuke. We out here slicing niggas necks off. Where's Cold at? We out here for the smoke. So you can see the gradual difference where Sasuke is relying on others, but then also at the same time showing and telling himself, it's like, you know what? I understand the situation I'm in, but I'm gonna have to do everything I can in order to ensure basically the best case scenario, the best outcome for the future generations. And it's really heavy on his mind. Yes, that's Boruto, but you can even see in the chapter where it's like him and uh, Sarada's balcony position are basically straight across from each other. And we see Sasuke pondering upon these ideas as he's staring at Sarada when Sarada is having the conversation with Mitsuki. Sasuke's death flag is really, I ain't gonna cap, compared to all the times we've been talking about Sasuke's death, let's say this is the most prominent that they put it in our faces. Like, yeah, this man Sasuke, y'all gonna have to be on real, real, real bird's eye view watch for this man Sasuke. Ever since the time when he pulled up on Jigen inside that Otosuki dimension, where I was thinking like there's no way in hell this man Jigen does not sense this nigga Sasuke right now Sasuke is done for like he's out of here bro he's out of here in situations like that I haven't felt that compelled now the anime has justified the manga in means of going over the scenes that the manga has done and displayed a better you know what I'm saying contrary of emotions where it's like you see in the Ishiki versus Sasuke battle as probably just the anime watcher you know Jigen versus Naruto and Sasuke battle understanding like damn this nigga Sasuke is probably about to get packed up opposed to us manga readers already understanding what's about to go down but like up until this point we haven't had that much shit thrown into our face like yeah it's a red flag for this nigga Sasuke's death and honestly the build-up has been really there for both Boruto and Sasuke's relationship because also that has been the main prominent key as to why a lot of people me specifically saying I don't think that they're going to be killing off Sasuke was because at the time I said well you look at how much Boruto looks up to Sasuke you know what I'm saying Boruto is the main character Sasuke was the main character of this nigga Naruto show you feel me so there's no way they're going to hype up the whole student master relationship between these two give them one training session and call it a day and kill this nigga Sasuke off you feel me? there just wasn't enough content there there. and then we even go as far as back as the time slip travel arc Sasuke said it himself him and Boruto's relationship was nothing compared to Naruto and Jiraiya's relationship as master and student there's still gonna be a long way to go and that's damn near over 60 70 episodes ago and now we're here at this current point in a, a manga chapter chapter 69 you can see the genuineness between both Boruto and Sasuke things after the events of the Ishiki battle after the events of the Momoshiki battle and so many instances in the anime so many different training instances in the anime and now we've reached a point where it's like Boruto is really being relied upon by this nigga Sasuke in the heat of not just some shit like oh I'm gonna take you along watch me and Naruto fight uh Momoshiki just so you can see what a high intensified battle looks like uh versus like you know a step up above from oh I'm gonna take you along with Ishiki you're gonna be a part of the plan so you can put us in a position to where me and Naruto can deal with this no now it's like Boruto come on let's go assess this situation he doesn't know what the fuck is going on and let's figure out what the fuck is going down and I'm comfortable enough to take you being one that you're 100% Otsutsuki most likely the strongest person in the village and I've already found my resolve enough to understand that we've come this far. I've seen how far you are willing to go, not only to protect, yes, your village, yes, your family, how serious you are to go about that matter. Now, Sasuke is basically acknowledging all of that in his actions. If I'm really keeping it a buck with y'all, y'all gotta pay attention to the way that, you know, characters are kind of killed off. Now, in terms of when it comes to the manga, right? It's, it's harder to tell, but if you were to go back and watch the Kawaki episodes, the Kawaki arc back to back episodes, you know, prior to watching it week by week, we see like the type of development or the type of screen time, and it's kind of easy to overlook, but the type of screen time that they gave us for, it, and it's obvious, it's prominent for even figures is like, Onoki, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Mujino, you feel me? Those y'all who keeping up with the current arc and anime, my nigga, you know what I'm saying, like Kagura. And then we have my nigga Kurama, where we had even a whole instance where Kurama had a heart to heart with this nigga Kawaki. We never thought about it. And going in back into the anime, the whole little mini sub arc with Kurama and Shukaku, they're giving these characters screen time, they're giving these characters significant time prior to, you know, sending them off with the proper, you know what I'm saying, etiquette and shit like that. Now, in Sasuke's sense, it's been teased at us, it's been jabbed at us. And now Sasuke himself is saying something that we haven't 
haven't seen him go as close to seeing something this serious in terms of his own ninja way since back in Shippuden days, where it's like, he's gonna be willing, he's gonna most likely have to be the one to show his resolve next time. Now, what does that refer to? Most likely on the battlefield, because now the fact that Momoshiki is permanently taking over Boruto's body is no longer a threat. What is his resolve will, going to be willing to be shown for us? Because prior, we understand his resolve was that I'm going to be the one that's not only willing, but will take Boruto's life if it comes down to it. And I'm going to shoulder that burden and whatever consequences comes with that. Now that we understand that is no longer an issue and that's no longer going to be the case, Sasuke's resolve now lies within the fact that he's already stated time and time again, he will be willing at any point time and scenario to give his life for the village if that's going to be the case and if that's going to eventually lead to the prosperous future of the next generation but what are y'all thoughts based on the things y'all see in Boruto chapter 69 man all of these red flags for my nigga Sasuke is death and it's crazy how I'm willing to go that deep into it pause and you already know I've been rocking with Uchiha gang all of my mind Genkyo shining gun it's out here and y'all feels me but to my next video holla at your boy I'ma holla at y'all leave your thoughts below comments below share the video with your friends but actually out your sir hey, can we take a trip to the sky show them that our limits too high Fuck up all the hips on the list, list. She said, 